Hello, dear ones. I am sending this to our Gate family, but I'm sure a lot of my other friends will see this uh, as we post it. I just want to encourage you, um, especially our Gate family from Isaiah 51. Um, I think we can all say that this year has been a pretty traumatic year and it continues to unfold. But uh, in the middle of this year, there are many of us who are really seeking the Lord. Um, but feels like that we're seeking the Lord in a waste place, uh, in, a, in a wilderness place. And there's a passage here in Isaiah 51 that addresses the people of God who find themselves in a, a waste place, in a desert, uh, a wilderness time. And the promise is that the wilderness will become uh, like the garden of the Lord, the desert like like Eden. So God's going to take the waste places and he comforts the people of God in the waste places and he's going to transform that into a garden. But these folks are people that are experiencing in Isaiah 51 a real desert place. Um, and he comes to them and he says, oh, you who seek the Lord, uh, uh, you who pursue righteousness, look to the quarry from which you were dug. And then God goes on to explain what that quarry is that quarry was Abraham, their ancestor Abraham. He says, look to the rock from which you were hewn, the quarry from which you were dug. And then he says about Abraham, look to Abraham. When he was but one, I blessed him and made him many. And it was with this understanding that God comforted the people there in Isaiah 51. Now, what's amazing to me about that is that when God focuses on, on Abraham, um, he's not focusing on Abraham's faith. He's not focusing on Abraham's perseverance. He's not focusing on um, on Abraham's stick to or grit and determination. He's actually focusing on the fact that Abraham was isolated and disconnected. Abraham, who left his family, who left his pagan roots, who journeyed, he and Sarah, to a land they didn't know, just them, just them and God. Uh, what God's focusing on is, though Abraham was one person in the midst of all these empires back there in the ancient day, in the midst of, you know, millions of people around the world, they weren't aware that God in that moment was just saying, I'm picking this guy, I'm picking this guy, and you're going to see me launch a movement from this obscure this obscure person. It's kind of like what God what God did when he sent Jesus. You know, Jesus comes as a baby in Bethlehem in an obscure manger. The world was just going on as it was, having no idea that what was born in obscurity was going to revolutionize the planet. And and that's, that's the focus here. Uh, and to me, that really speaks to where many of us are, because I know a lot of us feel disconnected. A lot of us feel isolated. A lot of us feel uh, alone. Um, even if we feel like we're, we're, we're seeing people, there's a sense that this whole pandemic era has disconnected people profoundly. And God's promise is, no matter what you feel right now, in, in terms of disconnection, uh, feeling like you're obscure, feeling like nobody notices you, God does. And he is going to comfort you by the simple fact that, that he is going to take you in your obscurity, in your isolation, and he is going to do a mighty work through you that will touch the nations. You say, well, I don't see how he does that. Well, that's God's job. You you just relish in the fact that God does it and will use you for his purposes. Your life has meaning. Your life has purpose. And I want you to be encouraged with this. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had um, the uh, experience, I'm sure all of us have lots of times, where you misplace things. You kind of come into the house and you misplace a book, you misplace your keys, you know, and then you can't find, you look everywhere. What do we do often when we can't find what we've misplaced? We go back to where we started. We retrace our steps. And that's what God is telling these people in their waste places to do, is to go back, remember, remember how you all started with one obscure man, with, with one obscure couple, one isolated, alone, obscure couple that nobody knew, Abraham and, and Sarah. And, uh, and, and take comfort from that. So I would say, go back. Go back and realize what God has done in your life, how God has blessed you, even in all the ups and downs of this year. Remember the quarry from which you were dug and remember the promise of God that though you feel isolated and disconnected right now, if you will just lean in and in your weakness, just accept that God is using your life, though you can't see it. Don't worry about that. God is using you. He is positioning you. He is on the precipice of releasing you and as his promise says in verse 3 of Isaiah 51, he is about to turn your waste places, your deserts, into the garden of God.